So, this, welcome to our dashboard. This is our Webinar Geo dashboard, as it is today, and we have, um, when you log in, this is what you'll see. Actually, this, is, this has got a few extra things. When you log in, this will be blank, because it'll be waiting for your first webinars. But this is what will be in your dashboard. And what I want to show off is, when we talk about technology, sometimes it's, it, people say, hi, I don't have time to learn anything. I, you know, it's, it's tough for me. So let me show you for a start how easy it is to set up and, and have a webinar up and running for you. So all you need to do is over here, click on where it says, set up new event. Now, is it a meeting or a webinar? In this case, I'm gonna say it's a webinar. So I'm gonna set up a new webinar. Now at this point, all I need are two things. This is how hard it is to set up a webinar. Super, super easy. All I need is a title. So I'm gonna give this a title. This is my uh, demonstration of new product. Okay, that's my title and I need a time. That's all I need. So let's talk about a time and a date. So we've got, uh, you know, it's happening here uh, at 10 in the morning. We say, hang on, well, 10 in the morning where? The world's a big place. You can choose your own time zone and then the person who's viewing, so you can set your webinar up to be your time zone. And as people come to the page, they see it in their local time zone. So they get to understand what, and it fits into their calendar in their local time zone. So that's it. We need a title and a time, that's all. And all I can do now is I just click on save and that webinar's set up ready to go. There's lots of other things I can do. I can add in welcome videos, I can connect it to my autoresponder, uh, I can um, set up tracking for my tracking codes, for my advertising, that kind of thing. I can uh, change my welcome emails, there's so much I can do. But just for the, for the point of this exercise, I wanted to show you how quick it is. So I set up a webinar, I gave it a title and a time, and now I have a link that I can share with people and they can come and register for my webinar. And what do they see? So let me show you now what somebody might see if they went directly to this link. So we come across to Safari, I'm gonna paste that in. And there's my webinar, ready to take my enrollment. Okay, ready for somebody to come in and put in their name and email and actually be registered for my webinar. So I could register, well, and put in my email. Uh, I'll put in a test one. All right. Registered. I've successfully signed up. That's it. And I can add that to my calendar. That's how hard it is to set up a webinar with Webinar Geo. Okay. Now that was just, all I had was I copied the link. So let me show you. I grabbed the link. I copied it. I sent it out on, on social media. I used, um, I sent people via advertising. I sent it out via email. I got people to my register page so that they could sign up. As I said, I can change the design. I'll show you that in just a second. But that was it. That was how hard it was to set that up. Now that's what the public would see. If they came to my webinar to sign up, that's what they'd see. And of course, that's what you would see joining this webinar, you would have seen the same thing, right? But what do I see? What do I see as the presenter? Well, using that same link, if I copy that as a presenter when I'm logged in and I go to that page, there's my presentation screen ready to go. This is my complete webinar admin panel ready to go right now. I didn't need to set anything up, it's ready for me. Now, I wouldn't turn up for my own event 14 days, four hours, 11 minutes and five seconds early, but my point is when you're ready to present, the webinar system is ready for you, okay? And we have all of these tools here. So I have the ability to do camera mode and screen share mode. And if I'd uploaded a presentation that I'd pre-recorded earlier, I could do that in hybrid mode, which would show here. I've got the chat system. And within chat, I can mute people, I can kick them out, I can make them the presenter. I can color code, I can have pre-written replies. Down the bottom here, I have these media elements. So I can pop up surveys and buy buttons onto the screen. I can have uh, all of those pre-done into my system so that when the time comes in my presentation and I want to ask a question, run a quiz, I can do that right from here. Or I can drop a buy button up onto the screen in one second, okay? I can start and end the webinar, mute myself. All my toolkit is ready here to go. So I didn't have to set anything up. It's absolutely ready for you when you're ready to present, okay? Now, as I mentioned, there's a lot more that you can do with the webinar setup. So you can come in here and you can change the design. You can add your own details. You can, you can see here that we've got kind of a, um, what you see is what you get designer. So I can come in here and design my own system. I can add in graphics or anything I wanted to. Uh, I can have what we call thank you and promotional videos. 
So a video, welcome them, them to the webinar page, another video on the thank you page. Um, all there, as I mentioned, you can have pre-recorded components of your webinar. So somebody can pre-do pre the presentation bit and you can just upload it and play it as if it was live. We've got the tracking code so you can, you can track your conversions. We can change our templates and our thumbnail system. So you can have this system completely branded for you. All right, so it'll still say Webinar Geo in, the, uh, in the, the URL, in the actual web address, but you have your own logo, you'll have your own brand name, so you can be running webinars on your own system. We have multiple templates, and changing those templates is as easy as changing the colors, okay? We can have different chat systems, so we can have public chat or private chat. We can allow questions offline or online. Okay, we can choose to gather different information, and that's important when we get to this bit, the lead capture, where we can simply plug in our autoresponders. So we work with multiple different companies with the autoresponder system. Let me go and show you which ones we have. So we have, at the moment, Aweber, Infusionsoft, SendReach, Mail, MailChimp, iContact, GetResponse, SendLane, ActiveCampaign, Entreport, ARPReach, and ConvertKit, all built within the system. So you can connect your autoresponder. As soon as somebody registers for your event, they're immediately um, added to your autoresponder or marketing follow-up system. So all of, that's, that, all of that's built into the program. We can also do things like uh, rolling registration. So everybody that registered for one event, you can automatically enroll them in the next one. We have this ability to, if I click on this one, there's not many um, uh, attendees for this test webinar that I ran. But in the reports section, I can see who registered and I can email everyone that registered. I can uh, email everyone that actually attended. I can email the people that didn't attend or haven't seen the replay yet. And I can see the stats of my particular events. I can see how they're running. Let me see if I can get an event that's got a bit more statistics. There we go. So I can see exactly when people started to drop off on the webinar. I can email those that attended. I can email those that haven't replied or haven't seen the replay as yet. All of that's built within the Webinar Geo platform. It's ready to go for you. So you can set up unlimited live events. The other thing you can do there as well is set up unlimited recorded events which is really cool. You can run evergreen or pre-recorded presentations and you can make it look as if they're live, all right? Which is fantastic. Now, you can have um, chat or no chat set up so that people can, can send chat messages through which send by email, but you can use an existing recording, okay? So if you've run a previous uh, presentation, you can just use that one or you can add in an external video file. This is important. If you've already got a presentation, maybe somebody that is really good at presenting whatever you're talking about has already done a really terrific presentation, you can just use that video file. So a YouTube file or Vimeo, or you can upload it. You can have the pre-existing recording set up ready to run as your own presentation. And you can make it look like this particular presentation is on at certain times. So you can say we want it to look like it's on Mondays at uh, 1, not 1 o'clock in the morning, at 8 o'clock in the morning and 3 o'clock in the afternoon. All right. And then on Tuesdays, it runs at uh, just a 2 p.m. session and then uh, Wednesdays and a you know, 8 p.m. session. OK, and I'll just wind that date forward a little bit so we can see what that looks like. But now somebody comes to the page and they see that there's a presentation on at Wednesday at 8 o'clock or Tuesday at three o'clock, and they can choose when it's the right time for them to watch the presentation. And they can get the follow-up emails and the reminders, which you can all set up here. So you can set up reminders to go out a day before, an hour before, 20 minutes before. So what if they chose to watch the, the three o'clock on Tuesday presentation? And you could set up the emails so that 20 minutes before, they get the email to remind them to come to the event. And it's just a, a pure recorded presentation, but they've chosen a time. What does that mean? They've put it in their calendar and they've made it a, a priority for them to watch this particular presentation so you can have unlimited live events and unlimited recording events you can also have online meeting rooms as we said with uh, the chat um, the round table thing where you can have different people on the screen I'll show you uh, show you that in just a second you can have what we call media elements so you can create those surveys or those buy buttons and you can see who answered what so if for example if you're running a quiz asking people um, do you want to go left or do you want to go right and you can then record the answers and see who answered which particular way so you can then communicate with those people specifically for what they've said is important to them okay so you can really jump in and, and make sure that you're um, tailoring your message so you, that's media elements you can also have buy buttons so you can create a button that pops up on the screen if you're trying to drive someone towards a particular offer click to buy now you can have it pop up on your webinar as you're walking through and there's so much more here with our system but that's all built within the webinar geo dashboard and it's all ready to go for you